second position. Can you hear? I'm here, I'm here. Did you discuss anything with the guitars? I'm here. Daniloji <laughs> Ibukun, <laughs> 
Amen. Amen. 
Saudi Moka, Sam Shagoton, Sam twenty three, Ulua, you shagoton me, Kimi, Yosha Laini, Omi, Ulani, Papa, put it to me. Omi, Lord, see how many Dakaro, who's walk on me, Lara, Omi, Lord, Nipano, Tito, you look for it. Nito <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. to
Madam Sapaina and Mimi Oluo Pire Ni Oluyeno was born and raised in the Anglican communion. Later became an active member of the Christ Apostolic Church, CAC, and was nicknamed Mama Ladra to underscore her devotion to God in prayers and worship. I knew that Mama Ladra. She passed on around 1988. Thus, young Olabisi had a Christian family upbringing. Foundation education. After a brief spell at Methodist Primary School in Doba, Adodo, also in present day of the state, young Olabisi proceeded to Ako Muslim Primary School, Agoiwe, where she completed her first school living certificate course in 1966. She completed a secondary education at Multilateral Grammar School, Okawa, in 1973, and thereafter taught briefly before proceeding to train for the teacher's grade two course in 1974. The date of first appointment as a teacher was 6 September 1976. Tertiary institutions attended Protestant Teachers College, Idiaraba, Lagos. I think that school is now different. Ogun State College of Education, Ijabo, Ijabo, between 1981 and 1984. University of Lagos, 1989 to 1991. Ogun State University, Agoyo, 1992 to 1997. Educational qualifications will be the teacher's certificate grade two course, the Nigerian certificate in education, then the bachelor's of art in with honors in education. Work experience. Mrs. Agnes Bashida stands her authority as a practical, passionate, and consummate teacher whose former pupils and students testify of how she made them fall in love with their studies and pass their exams in flying colors. At the center of her illustrious career, however, was a passion for molding the minds of young people in making choices towards a bright future. She was a dedicated educator, disciplinarian, thorough, and reliable. A list of the institutions where she served. She was a teacher at St. Michael Anglican Primary School, FIA, between 1976 and 1979. She was a teacher also at Methodist Primary School, Igogo, Igorodu, between 1979 and 1980. Just a bit of interjection there. You know, it was when Daddy moved from FA to Ikorodu that Mommy also had to move along with him. Yes, to join him there and then took up that role as Igogo Ikorodu. Next, teacher at St. Michael Primary School, FA, 1980 to 1982. Teacher, FA Grammar School, FA, from 1982 to 1995. Teacher, Udobara High School, FA, from 1995 to 2002. Principal, Ogumodebe Junior High School, FA, from 2002 to 2008. Principal, Ogumodebe Junior High School, Mondoda, FA, from 2008 to 2010. Principal, FA Girls High School, 2010 to 2011. And finally, she was a principal at Igogun Senior High School, FA, in 2011 
question time. She had an unblemished and enviable record of public service as an educator and participated in the management of schools where she taught even before she rose to become a college principal. She was a committed and visible member of ANCOPS, Lagos, and then she received in the year 2010 the Long Service Award from the Lagos State Government. I think that's a good place to clap. Yeah. She was trustworthy and of high moral standards. She retired after 35 years of service on 6th of September 2011. Now, service to church and community activities. She had a good track record of participation in corporate and institutional governance of church societies, both within and outside Nigeria. Specifically, she was at different times since the late 1970s till her exit in June 2023. First, member diocesan board of the Diocese of Lagos Anglican Communion. I think that's the highest ruling body. Yes, that's the good thing. That's the highest ruling organ in Lagos. Member Parish Church Council at St. Michael Anglican Church, FA. Treasurer Bible Society of Nigeria, FA. Financial Secretary, Youth Christian Association, St. Michael's Church. Senior Delegate, Member Guild of Stewards. Member Women and Girls Organization, Lagos Diocese. Member Bible Society of Nigeria, Oru Jebu Chapter, Ogun State, this, this chapter. Member Oru Youth Christian Movement of St. Luke's Church. I think I can see members of the OYC. Yes, thank you. You are recognized. The Lord bless you. Host slash member of the 20 sisters. There was the 20 sisters that were in, you know, a group of Christian women inaugurated as far back as 1980. Some of the members are still alive. Is there any member of the 20 sisters? It is all today. It was customary for our parents to post them first of January, the first Sunday of January every year. Yes, we grew up, you know, to meet that tradition. Member, Mother, Mother's Union, St. Michael's Church, I believe they are also represented there. Member, Faith Clinic, Christ Evangelical Fellowship. Member, St. Mary's Episcopal Anglican Church, High Point, North Carolina, United States. And the Jubilee Christian Church International. This is the capital of Victory Government. United States also. Further, in the early 1990s, the Mashida College House, located near the old refugee camp, which used to be the Muslim Theater Training College, also developed, the Mashida College House catered to the accommodation needs of some Liberian and Sierra Leonean refugees who were displayed by the civil wars that ravaged both African countries. Then she provided for the refugees' feet.
we want to thank you very much that this you have done for Mama. God Himself will appreciate you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. This afternoon, Brother Brother Shay, Sister here today, and your spouses. God will bless you more and more in Jesus' name. He shall be well with you throughout your lifetime in the mighty name of Jesus. All the societies that are here to celebrate the life and times of Mama, the YCA, the national body of YCA, I understand you are here too. We want to appreciate all of you. The chiefs in the church and all members of St. Luke's Anglican Church will be in Jebu. We want to welcome you and appreciate all of you. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we want to bless you for this opportunity. We thank you for what you've used Mama Agnes Olapisi Bashida to achieve in our lifetime. May your name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. As we find ourselves at this point, Lord, grant us the grace that time is fixed by you. And at this moment, each of us has the face which either understood or not. We are moving forward. It is not possible to move back in time. We pray, O Lord, give us understanding at this time, and you bless us from the world. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I want to, by the grace of God, share with us. Life is in stages and phases. Life is in stages and phases. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to block up that which is planted. A time to give and a time to eat. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. By the design of the Almighty, happens to be the creator of heaven and earth. He made everything by his wisdom in time and in stages and in phases. Nothing in the world is stagnant. Everything moves in their time. And the way Lord Almighty has designed the life of every creature that will be a time to be born, a time to rise, and sometimes a rise, a time to stay at a point, and a time to move. For as we have read in the scriptures, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, that to everything there is a season, to everything. There is also a purpose. Everything under heaven, God Himself has established it. There are limited time to everything. And the Bible says that is can only happen under heaven. Because you are under heaven and you have the heavens. That shows that in the heavens, this rule does not apply. Under the heaven, there is time and purpose for everything. Such rule 
is not applicable because there is no counting of time in heaven. It is timeless because it is eternal. But for every man that is born, there is time and purpose for everything. Looking at this very critically, every man or woman born has the honey period of his or her life, the period for Maybe we call it the middle age. Thereafter, we come to the whole age. Let's just categorize it that way. As a child, the middle age, and then you have the old age. Each of these stages have their reasons and purposes. And God Himself has designed it that way. And there's nothing. And I mean nothing anybody can do to alter it. Apostle Paul, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, wrote, When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. In other words, this man recognized that when he was a child, he was childish. He behaved like babies. Oh, wow, buddy. Oh, she's your buddy. What we will say I hear one day. But at a point, he grew up and became a man. And he said, I put away childish characters, attitude. Because there are certain things that a child will do, and easily you will exonerate the child. The one will shape. At the point you come to an age that people will see you as a, a lady, it's not more a child. It is that she. And so all of us are. There was a time we were like that. Childish. The people around us we know it for us that we are childish. But at the point we become matured as a man or as a woman. So Paul established the fact that in his own life too, sometimes ago he was childish. But now he's mature as a man. In the record of King David, when you look at Psalm 25, verse 7, he also recognized that there was a time he was tidy, and that period of his life pushed him to do certain things, and he was trying to confess before God. Psalm 25, verse 7, and he told God in prayers, Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. In other words, he maybe also remember and knew that while he was a youth, very young, there were certain things he did. I was not asking God, Lord, don't remember the sins of my youth. You were passionate thy way in me. To repair where she come at you by way, no man see the yonsi. You got to be your father at that time. Don't have to be a little bit. I come to work on your little bit. She may not be good. She will buy. I be me no. I be me no. Why? Just because you are mature now. You are a man now. Mama Agnes, or let me say, Pashida. In her lifetime, when she was very active, young, she did her best in the church, and the records are there. 
and some of us are witnesses to it, even as we had yesterday at uh, the wake we understood what God used them for. But it came to a point, she became good, and probably in those days she was able to do why she was young. The, she was not able to do again. There are stages that we are passing through. There were stages you had before, and that is a stage that you have now. But each of these stages has their own purposes. Each of them has their own purposes. They are not just there. While this man was confessing and asking God, there was a story in 2 Samuel chapter 12 which David committed. And I want us to read together 2 Samuel chapter 11. I want to read verse 2. And it came to pass in an evil time that David arose from all his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman washing herself. And the woman was very beautiful to look upon. And David sent and inquired after the woman. And one said, Is not this Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? And David sent messengers and took her. And she came in unto him, and he lived with her. For she was purified from her uncleanliness, and she returned unto her house. And the woman conceived, and said, and told David, and said, I am with child. And David said to Joab, saying, Send me Uriah the Hittite. And Joab sent Uriah to David. And when Uriah was come unto him, David demanded of him how Joab did. And how the people did, and how the war prospered. You know this rest of the story. That was a video in the life of King David, who had just become a king, and the Lord has elevated him. Remember when this man was running in the bush while his enemy was pursuing him? He had no time for such nonsense. But at the time, when he became the king of Israel, he was more comfortable, happy, he had money, he had influence. That particular moment, he lost sight of the purpose for which he was brought to be true. And what did he do? He went astray. Just because the vibrancy of the youthfulness was there. Not knowing that at that particular time, he was supposed to fight the battle of God. But instead of fighting the battle of God, he was at home. The subjects, his army and soldiers, they were in the war front. And he was pulling off at home. So that very evening, he was looking around. And he saw a beautiful lady walking around. And he sent for the lady. That was the sin he was trying to confess. It was a sin that came to him at the point when he was still a youth. At that point, you are reached as an individual. Do you understand the purpose of or the reason why you are brought to that condition, to that state at this material time? The Bible says that there is reason and there is purpose for everything on that level. The Bible says, whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God and confess his sin or sin and forsake them, he said, his name shall be seen in the book of life. He will die with Jesus. He will die with the great shepherd. If you have not given your life to Jesus before, this morning is an opportunity to do. And 
Jesus is very close. Jesus is very near. Even without the person sitting beside you knowing, you can say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you, forgive my sins, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. From today, write my name in the book of life. Give me power to become your child. I forsake the sin. I forsake the devil. I forsake the world. I belong to you as from today on. I pray through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for as many who have received your word humbly and have accepted you into their life. Father, may your name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. The Bible says that whosoever sin will remit this word shall be remitted in heaven. Forgive their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Wash them with your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. As they are decided to be yours forever, the devil, Lord, will not have power over them, to draw them back in the mighty name of Jesus. As their name has been written in the book of life, forever it shall be established there in Jesus' name. And for as many, Lord, who have been working with you before, they will not go back in Jesus' name. The grace of eternal life as it has been released unto us. Satan and darkness will not take it away from us in Jesus' name. The church of God and our individual lives as we are marching on, the gate of hell will not prevail over us. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. We pray for the children of Mama that we will uphold and sustain them and strengthen them in Jesus' name. Thank you because of answered our prayers. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Argentina. É de que o personagem. O gol.
individuals as we fulfill in the life of our man, he, he refused to die because the future had not been fulfilled. He said a time to born and a time to die. A man has fulfilled the scriptures, and that is why we are happy for the time to expect. May we all have an association answer. You pray.
Baba, tu peux te dire que la vie est là, tu es 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 là, tu es